everybody and welcome back to another video where today we have something a bit different. It's a quote unquote live build series. Um well it's not actually going to be filmed live, but it's not going to be a sped up video of me building. So yeah, that's essentially what it is. Um I've got a uh, different project here today. And, um, I'm working on a semi-truck. A remote-controlled semi-truck, actually. Um, shouldn't be too much bigger than my Mac Anthem, which is hiding off over there, upside down. Um, but it should be a fairly sized model. So, I'll kind of walk you guys through what I have so far. I have most of the chassis done, so that's that's pretty good. Um, so, first off, I have my drive system. That was the first thing that I worked on. I have an extra large motor, uh, motor powering a large truck right gear, powering a smaller truck right gear, right there. Um, and that's powering this whole setup here that's linked. So it's two axle, two rear axles that are being driven just through a simple mechanism through here. It actually gets going at decent speed. And then in the front here, we just have a simple servo set up on a, on a gear rack from uh, 42009, which is the... Um, Oh gosh, mobile crane part two. So it works. Also, I'm using mostly pieces from 42009. Um, just because I wanted to build something different with it. Um, so, yeah. Let's get right into it. Also, yeah, sorry. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting videos that much lately. Um, I've had been very busy. I've been on vacation, and I haven't had very much time, especially towards the end of school. I haven't had, but now we're almost done summer. Um, we'll have, only have a few more things to do, but a month left. Actually, we're not almost done if we have a month left. Something like that. I get back to school on the 30th, so, um, it's August. Yeah, I'm gonna get as much done as I can. Also, I started off a lawn mowing service. Don't ask me about that because I don't have the time. So, I'm probably not gonna be posting videos a lot anyways. So, anyways, let's just get right into it. So, the first thing that I'm going to be doing is securing this front end a bit more. I'm... So what I have here is a couple of black pins, and I want this to line up somewhere through here. Hmm. Unless I have a couple beams that run straight through here, and then connect there. Actually, that might work. Let's see that. So if we put that guy there. We can extend it a bit more, perhaps, so to a 15. We extend it to a 15. It's got a little bit of overhang, as you can see here, but um, I think that'll still work pretty good. So, then the next step is going to be connecting that guy. So I probably don't need that. Maybe something a bit more. Are you talking to yourself or recording? It's fine. Why? Thank you. 
Sorry for the interruption. That's fine. Um. Alright. So what we're going to do here is connect these together like that. So, mark these places off with pens, flip it over, connect her in. Perfect. That's done. Now, the harder part um, is going to be taking these pins out and replacing them with slightly larger blue pins. Actually, going to need four of them. Um, be a bit tricky. So, luckily I made this fairly easy to dismantle. Actually, that wasn't too easy. So now the whole front section is off. Now, this. I'm driving this around a bit. You can kind of see some plastic dust on that axle. If it'll focus, you see the white? Yeah, it's all plastic dust. Ooh. Um. Yeah, I don't need to worry about that right now. So now I think I can just take off this split it apart a bit. It's fine. I'm not breaking any any rules here. You guys can probably not see anything, but I apologize. Alright. I, I apologize. It's not my fault. Actually it is, but Alright. Now it's done. Pop these connectors back in. I'm actually going to not put the blue connectors in just yet because uh, I'm going to do them for the outside just because it's going to be a bit easier to remove. Make sure all of these pins here are snapped in place. That pin is not snapped in place. Oops, maybe if I just take that axle out. Well, that will help a bit. All right. Put that axle back in. Ooh. Make sure there's a gear in there. It's that this thing actually works. This is at the kind of the, the kind of point where if you forget one certain gear, the whole thing won't work. Am I blind? Where's that black asshole? There we go. Let's wipe away some of that plastic dust. There we go. Put that in. Put this guy in. And then, I'm sorry if you can't see anything. And then this guy. pins in. Alright. So now we can put these blue pins in. So now we can put these blue pins in. Ugh, that one was a bit stiff. That one went in right. Nice and smooth. This guy, you can just pop that in there, and uh, now we can use these pieces again. To make another piece, this guy will slide in like that. Now 
nice is that these still are not connected. Well, that's not much of a problem. Because we have pins. These pins are just going to slide in like that. Or we're not going to do that because that takes up our room for clearing. And this thing already has a pretty low clearing. So, um, maybe we don't want to do that. Actually, we're going to place these with, once again, larger blue pens. Go in like that. There you go. That looks pretty nice. Now, this guy is on there pretty good. He's not coming off. That's that's good. Um now going to attach. That's my knee. I'm so sorry. You didn't have to see my knee. Um, we're going to get actually get rid of this um, 5 one axle and replace it with... Actually, that was not a 5 one axle. Oh. Okay. Um... <laughs> actually going to replace it with, well, we're going to replace that three long axle, dive into my other Lego collection of other Technic stuff that has been collected upon the times. And I just have to find the right axle. Wherever it is, there it is. Alright, so we're going to be replacing the three long axle with a dark brown three long axle with a stopper on it. So that the stopper will go over the beam like so. And that'll keep the beam falling off. So connect this like this. Put that guy in. Boom. Nice and snug. Now this beam is not going to fall off by chance anymore. Hmm. So I think now we might um, do a bit of decoration and uh, maybe just cover up this back a bit so that we can go in and uh, fifth wheel in later because this is going to be a semi truck and semi trucks kind of need fifth wheels so yeah I'm just gonna do that so that we can have some attachment points for a rear bumper I haven't done that yet um, because I'm not working on cosmetics right now only the important stuff, the stuff that holds this thing together, and now we'll get a couple, a couple more of these smaller builds, we can, um, just my camera a sec, We can now connect this nice little plate to the back there. We don't really need to worry about this right now. Um, but we can probably make it a little bit cleaner by attempting to put in one of these plates like that. I'll just um, kind of 
kind of make it a bit easier. Actually, what you do is grab a few That's not gonna work now, is it? You need the right pins for the job. We're gonna use these black pins again. I think on the other side I used red. That's fine. Um but we're gonna also make a little flap here just because I want to but just because I want to doesn't mean it's gonna work hmm but it will work because I know what I'm doing <laughs> We can just take a couple. Sorry if you can't see anything. Of these guys. Stick them on either side because there is a limited slip differential right in there. So that guy needs this space to do his slipping because this truck cannot run without that one limited slip differential. And that is kind of a downside. But on the bright side, I am messing this up. So, fixer. I did not take in fact that I had to have another beam on the side. So, going to fix that and now I'm going to have an axle running through there so I don't need those pins now this guy can fit in here and all I need now is the right size pin Darn it. It's taking its time here. There we go. check on that. Now I can check on that differential. Actually, you know what? I'm going to make another one of those. Because I want to be able to check on my other differential too. That will just require a little bit of moving around, but that's fine. We're going to need Five long pin. Axle. Whatever it is. Now, we're just gonna make the same thing just again. But I think on this one, the differential should be on the other side. Yeah, it is. But that's fine. Here's my red pins. Stick them in there. I 
actually I'm gonna flip that side of that guy around. Put that guy in there. And uh, that should be pretty good now. Just one more thing, but I don't think I have it enough. So an eye beam. So I want an eye beam in the center where I'm going to stick the fifth wheel. Just because that's quite some different attachment points. So I'm just going to put one on uh, either side there or one on yeah, the center of either side. down. So I think that's, that's uh, looking pretty nice. So I'm going to have my fifth wheel there. I'm going to have two openable flaps. To check on my gears to make sure nothing's breaking. Or if one falls out, I can put a new one in. A little bit of maintenance, right? I don't think they have it have them in the real trucks. But, this is not supposed to be a specific model, so it is what it is. Now, I'm just going to pop on my makeshift battery box thing. I'm just going to put that there, because I can. No, I'm going to move it back a bit. And then I'm going to put my receiver like there. My servo is going to be on the blue. My motor is going to be on the red. All this stuff, don't worry, is going to be tucked away. Way neater. Soon. Well, once I build the body and stuff, put that guy on. So, check on my gears. Make sure everything is nice and connected. Check my steering. And away I go. It's not going to be the strongest, but you know what? Not supposed to be too accurate, just to be something fun to play and build. Yeah, I'm not getting enough traction. <clears throat> That's fine. I'll just burn her back. So, what's my time at? Uh, pretty good. 25 minutes ish. Um, and you're falling over. I think that's going to be the end of the video. This particular video, because I got some stuff done, or what what I wanted to be done, done. And, um, yeah. It's taking a while because it's done live. It takes a while to design stuff, too. So, um,. Thank you guys for sticking around if you're watching this because I know it's painful to watch somebody spend so long building something. So if you made it to the end, 
give yourself a high five. I appreciate you. Right? We're all having fun. We're all having fun. So, if you actually stick around for the whole video, give yourself a high five, or even comment down in the, in the comment section if you watched the whole video. Maybe I'll give you a special shout out or something. I don't know. You know, you know up to me, or maybe I'll pin your comment if you say something nice. Um, yeah. If you're gonna comment, comment nice. I don't appreciate hate comments. Subscribe if you wish. Um, it's not my decision to make, so I can't make you. Not like a lot of the other YouTubers make you subscribe to them. I know that's that's completely your choice here, um, because this is a safe channel where you get to make your own decisions. Um, like what video you watch. Doesn't matter. A lot of them aren't interesting. But um, yeah, for those of you that have actually been watching, and. Waiting until I made this another video, then congrats. Um, you're a prized viewer. Alright, see you guys in the next one. Bye!